Hello and welcome once again on the lecture series of course elements of machine design. Today we are in the lecture number 11. In last lecture we have started designation of steel that means how to designate a particular steel. Up to this point we have undergone three types of the steels that is the mild steel alloy steel low and medium alloy steel and pre-cutting steels. In today's lecture we will see remain two types of the steels how these steels are designated. Next type of steel is the high alloy steel that is stainless steel and heat resisting steel. Now in the last lecture we have understood what is the concept of alloy steel? The steel which is formed by addition of alloying elements to improve its properties to the mild steel. So in last lecture we have understood how to designate low and medium alloy steels. In this lecture we will study how to designate high alloy steels. Now stainless steel is defined as the steel which when heated and finished resist oxidation and corrosive attacks. So it is a one of type of a high alloy steel that is the stainless steel. The basic criteria of definition of stainless steel it has the oxidation and corrosive resistance property. If we add some alloying elements in mild steel, then we will get this property that is resistance to oxygen and corrosion. Especially the chromium is added to improve the property of the corrosion resistance into the mild steel. So we get the stainless steel. Second type of high alloy steel is the heat resisting steel. The steels which can resist creep and oxidation at high temperatures and retain sufficient strength are called heat resisting steels. As the name suggests, the applications of the heat resisting steels are where the creep phenomena is of importance. We have already studied the property, mechanical property of a material. It is the, what is known by the creep phenomena. We have studied it is the phenomena in which when any material is exposed to a high temperature for longer period of time then there is a wear of particular material that is known as the creep phenomena. So this heat resisting steels comes under the category of high alloy steels which are employed where there is a requirement of creep and when the steels are subjected to higher temperature. Then according to Indian standard, we have already studied what is meant by the Indian standard 1762, these high alloy steels that is stainless steel and heat resisting steels are designated in following manner. We have already studied the steels are designated on the basis of chemical composition and its mechanical properties. Only mild steels are designated on the basis of mechanical properties and chemical composition but free cutting steels and low and medium alloy steels are designated on the basis of chemical composition. In the same manner today these high steels also designated on the basis of chemical composition. So how these steels are designated? The first symbol from which we come to know that this is a heat resisting steel or high alloy steel is the letter X. This is the indication which shows that this steel is high alloy steel. When any designation which starts with letter capital X then we come to know that this steel is a high alloy steel. After letter X, the number indicating 
हंड्रेड टाइम्स द परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन कंटेंट वे हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आफ्टर द लेटर द परसेंटेज इज ऑफ कार्बन परसेंटेज इन विच इज हंड्रेड टाइम्स मीन्स वे हैव टू डिवाइड बाय हंड्रेड टू दैट नंबर नाउ आफ्टर दैट फर्स्ट नंबर नेक्स्ट केमिकल सिंबल फॉर दिस अलोइंग एलिमेंट्स विच इज फॉलोड बाय a number of its average percentage content which is rounded up to the nearest integer we have already studied some multiplying factors in last lecture with reference to these multiplying factors we have to round that figures now this chemical symbol indicate specially added element to allow the desired properties means when we add alloying elements to the mild steel we will get alloy steels the high alloy steel the less symbol is x it is the first symbol which indicates it is a high alloy steels the next number or next figure indicates the 100 times the percentage of carbon content and afterwards the chemical symbol for the alloying elements so take the example of high alloy steel first letter x that means it is a high alloy steel next figure next figure indicating 100 times the percentage of carbon content it is 10 divided by 100 chemical symbol for alloying element now cr is alloying element nickel is another alloying element now these figures taken as it is this gives the percentage of alloying element content as it is there is no need to refer the multiplying factor table for designation of this high alloy steels take the example of this x is the symbol for high alloy steel it means alloy steel high alloy steel with average carbon percentage 10 divided by 100 because next step is second number step is figure indicating 100 times the percentage of carbon content so 10 divided by 100 it's 0.1 percentage of carbon next is the symbol for alloying elements chromium we have to take as it is chromium 18 percentage and nickel 9 percentage take another example 4 cr 17 ni12 mo2 now 4 carbon percentage average carbon content 0.40 we have here x x4 means high alloy steel having carbon percentage of 4 divided by 100 0.40 the percentage of alloying elements in this there are three alloying elements chromium nickel and molybdenum we have to take the percentage of this alloying elements as it is means chromium 17 percentage nickel 12 percentage molybdenum 2 percentage so chromium 17 percentage nickel 12 percentage and molybdenum 2 percentage so in this way we can designate a high alloy steels again the first letter x which indicates high alloy steel next figure indicates 100 times the percentage of carbon content next indicates the chemical symbol for alloying elements next is chemical symbol to indicate specially elevated added element to allow the desired properties so in this way we can designate the high alloy steels next is the high speed tool steels steels which are used for the manufacturing of the tools that's why these are known as the high speed tool steels now these steels are used for cutting metals at a higher cutting speed than the ordinary carbon tool steels as the name suggest these steels are used for cutting metals at a much higher cutting speeds than ordinary carbon steels again these high speed steels are also designated according to IS 1762 that is indian standard 1762 the high speed tool steels are designated in the following order as we have seen in case of high alloy steel 
the symbol is of capital X in this case the symbol for high speed tool steel is the capital letter X T this is the symbol for indication which indicates it is a high speed tool steel now after this symbol as usual the figure indicating 100 time the percentage of carbon content as usual we have seen in the previous steels also the after symbol the number indicates 100 times the carbon percentage afterwards the chemical symbol for alloying elements each followed by the figure for its average percentage content as it is there is a no need divide by the multiplication factor so this is a chemical symbol for alloying elements which are added to the carbon steel or mild steel to improve its properties afterwards the chemical symbol to indicate specially added element if any to improve its properties let's see the example xt 75 w 18 cr4 v1 now xt is used for symbol as a high speed tool steel xt is a symbol which is used for the high speed tool steel now this 75 means after symbol xt it indicates 100 times the percentage of carbon content means 75 divided by 100 0.75 percentage of carbon carbon content 0.75 percentage after this w is the alloying element chromium is alloying element vanadium is alloying element now w means tungsten 18 percentage chromium 4 percentage and vanadium 1 percentage so this is the designation of the high speed tool steel that is xt 75 w 18 cr 4 in v1 it is the uh, tool steel it is the high speed tool steel with average carbon content of 0.75 percentage tungsten 18 percentage chromium 4 percentage and vanadium 1 percentage so this is regarding the designations of steels that is designation of up to this in lecture number 10 and 11 we have studied the designation of mild steel designation of free cutting steel designation of low and medium alloy steels designation of high alloy steels and designation of high speed tool steels i hope you have understood how the steels are designated on the basis of chemical composition thank you